quite a collection. I'm playing Atacon. Atacon doesn't have a cool animation. Cause we haven't played Atacon yet. I hadn't, I hadn't seen Atacon at all yet. You will do as I, I want to play it. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday action. We're going to have a fun filled day here with four new decks focused on uh, some of the new cards from our latest expansion and some of the more fun cards from the expansion that we haven't had a chance to play yet. We're going to have Glorious Evolution later on. Uh, we're going to have a deck that's copying and making a ton of pikes. We're going to have an Ethereal Remitter combo deck. But up first, we're going to have Atticon's Call. We're going to be playing um, a card that a lot of people have been asking to see, Atticon Bringer of Ruin. And we're going to be playing this card with War Mother's Call. So this is the new 10 mana 512 Overwhelm that has the ability to attack and increase its power by all the total power of all your allies. You add them up and then throw that onto Atticon. That seems pretty good. So it, it uh, you know, seems really powerful. But it is going to cost 10 mana uh, to be able to get out. So, um, but, so we're going to try that out. Also try it with War Mother's Call. They can be summoning the top ally from our deck each round. And we're going to have a lot of top end with War Mother's Call. Leviathan's also a summon ability where it draws a Swain. So that works really well with uh, War Mother's Call. Now that they changed Leviathan. It used, Leviathan used to be a playability. Now it's a summon. So now it works perfectly with War Mother's Call. And you, as you can see, we're going to have a lot of 8 plus cost cards. We're going to be playing Lissandra in here. Um, with all of these eight plus cost cards that we can be getting, so we just get two of them in play. We level up our Lissandra, then our next, then our nexus is tough. And you know, like the the whole frozen thrall part of Lissandra may not be as good in this deck because it could kind of take up some board space for us. But Lissandra is just kind of broken and just too good not to play. It's just the best champion in the game, and especially if you leveled up and you get a tough nexus and free ice shards every round. That's incredible. And the Ice Shards just go so well with Swain because the Ice Shards are going to be, um, you know, they'll be able to Nexus Strike for you for your Swain and they'll level up your Swain and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So those are our champions, Lissandra and Swain in here. Um, our other, besides Leviathan and Atticon, our other top end cards, we're going to play one, She Who Wanders, because it's a pretty cool card, you know, 10-10 regen, we'll take that. And then two Incisive Tacticians that do caught, they do count as eight drops. And also when I'm summoned rally and we can get extra attacks, which, you know, I think this card wants to attack a little bit. So that could be pretty cool. Besides that, it's all just like early defense, some Nexus healing with Tavern Keeper and Catalyst of Aeons. Of course, ramp with Catalyst of Aeons and then um, a lot of damage uh, stuff, you know, non non combat damage things to level up Swain. You know, Bladder Ravine, Avalanche, Ice Shard, Death Lotus, all those cards will be leveling up our Swain. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's let's have some fun. Let's play some Atticon's Call. And we'll go play five games. Just playing them in normal today, because that's that's what we do here on Meme Tier Days. But if we are 4 and 0, oh, then we will play the fifth game in ranked. And looks like we got Teemo Gangplank to start with. <laughs> Chat's putting quotations around kinda for Lissandra. Kinda broken. Okay. We'll mulligan the, the two top end cards. I think I'll just keep both Avalanche and Blighted Ravine. I think they could both be pretty good against the team of Gangplank deck. Especially if they are playing, you know, a bunch of 3 threes. Like maybe they got, or like three hull things. Uh, you know, they could have the, the three mana, three, three puff cap thing, the Two mana, one three right here. Like ballistic, bot, like this could be like ballistic bot into puff cap peddler. Those are the cards I'm thinking of. But anyway, then and you know maybe we need to play these back to back. All right, nope, they got a boom baboon. That's always fun to say, boom baboon. All right, we'll take out some stuff. I 
think I'll just pass priority. See what they do. I could see playing Lissandra right here, though. Yeah, I could see playing Lissandra, honestly. No, it's probably Blight Ravine. Yeah, it's Blight Ravine. Scorpy says, after three or four days of the new patch, two mana make it rain is just awful. Needs to go back to three mana. We play in build rules, son? Um, we do have leveled up Swain already. And our deck levels up so 16. <laughs> our deck's going to be leveling up Swain pretty fast. I'm just going to play this. Try to keep them from playing quickly. Yeah, Avalanche plus, yeah, Avalanche plus Ravine. Just play both of those. And then you get 16 level up. Okay, so this is seven, eight, nine damage. I'm gonna save the four life and play the Scorched Earth, right? Like they spent two extra cards to do four damage to me. Those things, you know, like I, let's go ahead and just save that four life. Going another Blighted Ravine or Avalanche. I want you know like so they they were gonna have like the two fleeting cards. So I wanted to pass to them and see if they would play like other fleeting cards that weren't as good against Swain, and then we get a better Swain attack. And I think I'm in for the. Where do you stand on cold shots? That could allow me to War Mother's next round if I Catalyst and then only spend two other mana. So basically, I'd, my entire round would have to be the Catalyst. Child. That, that doesn't sound so bad. Or I, you know, Scorched Earth, play Swain. Next round, do like Bladder Ravine, Avalanche stuff, and then the following round, War Mothers, right? Like, um, you know what? We don't have to Scorch Earth right now. We can, we can Scorch Earth later. Let's let's play War Mothers next round. I guess I could do Bladder Ravine, Avalanche. Maybe that's what we need to do now. Yeah, that's probably what we need to do now. All right. Still got a lot of cards over there. Forty-four out of twelve. I don't think I've ever played Swain and had forty-four out of twelve. I know, I know. We'll War Mothers next round. So, okay, if I play Swain, we do not get to War Mothers next round. If I play Lissandra, we can War Mothers next round. But again, I don't know if I want to play Lissandra because I don't want a second Frozen Thrall out there, right? Because then that's like playing Lissandra takes up three board spots. So maybe I just pass. We can have double War Mothers? No, we can't go back to back. Because I guess if we, we play one this round, we got 11 mana next round. Okay, so 
Hamster says I should have started with Avalanche, and then gone Blighter Ravine the second time. Makes sense. Alright, all we need is one more 8 plus drop, and then our Lissandra's leveled up. And then we don't take damage from Puff Cap. I don't know, I guess if it's multiple Puff Caps, we still will. Please don't have Gangplank. If they have Gangplank also, we are in lots of trouble. We're still in some trouble. We need that tough Nexus. We're gonna need that tough Nexus. Oh no! We hit the rally at the wrong time. That's the rally at the wrong time. <laughs> This is the problem with the thralls, though, is, you know, our, we're running out of space. So, yeah, we could Scorch Earth a thrall for more space for our War Mothers. I can also Flash Freeze the Baboon, the Boom Baboon right here, and then just, like, kill all their stuff. They do get just, like, free blocks on everything, though, if I do that. I think I'd rather just Scorched Earth my Frozen Thrall for more space. Because I, th I think we need the War Mother space right now. Next round, we make an Ice Shard so we don't have to worry about this Sprayfin hitting us, and then I can have the, the Flash Freeze for the other Sprayfin. Okay. Yeah, all the next damage. All right, GDs. They got me. Double up is awesome. Good game, Pana. Good game. Vladimir Swain. Definitely not Swain. Vladimir Brom. I don't think we're going to line up very well here. Right? You know, like... If they're playing Scar Grounds, <laughs> we don't want Death Lotus and Avalanche and all that kind of stuff against Scar Grounds. Um, I do like War Mother's Call, and I want I want the Ramp card, right? Like we want Catalyst and War Mother's. So do I keep Lissandra? Nope. We want Catalyst and War Mother's. All right, there's Catalyst. Oh, Scorch Earth is good. I'll try anyway. Take out that Scar Grounds. But great start for them. But I have I have the cards I want. Scorch Earth, Catalyst, War Mothers. Those are the cards I want. I'll learn my scars. But yeah, you can see how our plan of Bladder V Nishar doesn't work out too well here. And so I guess if more people are going to be playing like the Talia Lissandra deck, this could be a good answer to Talia Lissandra of like, you know, good answer against avalanches and bladder ravines and stuff like that. I helped build this empire. Still have some fights left in me. Man, so much damage. So I'm at six after this. We'll take two from the ravine, one from the disciple. That would have been a lot better as Avalanche, where you know I could have played that before taking all that damage. But that's how life go. In the War Mother's name. 
I don't know why I'm passing there and I would have wasted all that mana. Let's let's try to kill this thing. I guess I should have scorched earth both of them. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be. Alright, GG's opponent. Maybe need some more bodies out here or something. I don't know. Wish I, w I wish I would have kept like the first Lissandra. We kind of needed a blocker. I ended up, or how that game ended up playing out. It, you know, ended up needing to keep that Lissandra. Okay, let's not keep War Mother's Call again, and let's also not keep any of the rest of these. Okay, we got Lissandra for an early blocker. This time we do have Avalanche and Blighter Ravine. Nothing escapes my cool. Watch. Play the sentry. Safeguard our homes. Cause we can go like sentry into Lissandra and not, you know, have to rely on Ravine Avalanche immediately, let them overextend first. Lots of landmarks, because they're a Talia deck, but then they need lots of spells for Fizz. It's an odd pairing. Fizz, Talia, but I I like it. I respect it. Opponent doing something a little different. I respect it. Okay, yeah, y'all think that they're just trying to play like a whole bunch of one-drops. And Reaver's Row, and Talia copy Reaver's Row. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, I respect it. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Careful preparation. Feels good just to play stuff. Just doing these two. No, they're not alert deck, no. We will resist. This card gives um plus grants plus two plus one and fearsome to the one cost allies. One way to level up Swain in one shot. Got another Reaver's Row. Fortunately, they found two of those. I am 
This next round's gonna be really you know, like an open attack's gonna be pretty rough of like uh Talia coming back, this reaver's rogue happening. This isn't gonna be good for me. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the Man. Okay, so the opponent has two good cards in their deck, Reaver's Row and Talia, and unfortunately they have, you know, four of those six <laughs> right away in their first thirteen cards. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we do need half spider. We just, yeah, we just don't have like the blockers, do we? All right, on three. You don't know what you've done. Natalia has, of course, kill us. Alright, this is going to be a, another really fast deck. Deck's looking a little slow. We're playing against tons and tons of aggro. Our deck's looking pretty slow. Could have definitely used some Scorchers there, but I mean... Yeah, my opponent had two two very good cards in their deck. Reaver's Row and, and Talia, and unfortunately had both... Had two copies of both. And, you know, we're able to Reaver's Row a, a Talia... You know, Talia copy Reaver's Row is like their dream. They were able to do it twice, and... And, you know, GG's. Like, that's... Opponents are doing something cool. Yeah, so I would have mulliganed the Atacon if it was in my own, you know, if I could have it. Um, you know, I I kept Sentry, Lissandra, and, and then the rest were new cards, and so this was the first new card. Humanity is obsolete. Yes, Atacon's a new cards from the... Um, that's, that's what we're playing here. We're playing Atacon's call war mother's call with this card but we haven't gotten an Atacon in play yet our opponents have been rude and killing us too quickly so unfortunately i haven't gotten one in play yet Don't get any any value from the Nexus healing right now. Nothing like the great outdoors. Safety disengaged. Slippery. Venture starts with mushrooms. Yeah, the Yeti deck that we're playing later does have the ability to put Atacon in play with the Abominable Guardian Ethereal Remitter combo. So if we are not able to get Atacon in play right now, we could have that ability later. One Blighted Ravine is all you need <laughs> to level up a Swain. By my hand will Noxus That's all you need is one Blighted Ravine. We're pretty bad at drawing Puff Caps. We've already drawn two of the five Puff Caps. We've only drawn two cards since then. I guess we've drawn three cards since then. Where are you? 
I'm doing good, Patek. How are you doing? I had a very sun-filled 4th of July yesterday, and so I'm I'm a little worn out. You know, a little sun um, kind of sunburnt and everything like that today, but excited about the decks that we're playing with it being Meme Turn Monday and us trying some new stuff. Hey, Zagala Popo. Possible should just be avalanching, but I don't want that thing in here. Could also be passing. So, so we know both of these cards are fleeting. Oh, there are Teemos. They hit Teemo. That's a good hit for doubling up with Chief Mechanist Evie. That's a good Chief Mechanist Evie hit. I'm playing Atticon. Atticon doesn't have a cool animation. See, we haven't played Atticon yet. I haven't, I haven't seen Atticon at all yet. You will do as I, I want to play it. So next round we will be able to like Avalanche plus Leviathan. Do something cool like that. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty tough for them from here with Atacons coming in. All is still for now. Okay. We gotta win. Lurkers. They look like they played a lot of Lurkers already. They got... Especially for normal, they got a lot of... Champion XP on there. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get to attack with Atacon. I don't know if there's an Atacon animation. That was the first Atacon I've seen in play before. Like, I've, I've never had an opponent have it in play yet. That was the first one that I had in play. There's no summon animation. Probably nothing. I, would, I wouldn't expect an attack animation. Okay, yeah, no animation. Blighted Ravine looking really slow. Not being able to do the damage till round five. They will already get another attack in with these fearsomes by the time it gets to do anything. Blighted Ravine looking really slow. They didn't snap take anything, that's a good sign.
I could be convinced that Catalyst is the card that I should be playing right now. I don't want to take the two damage. Oh, so yeah, they missed. They missed lurk. They didn't. <clears throat> didn't hit it. Hmm. They could have done that first and hit lurk, but they chose not to. Now they hit lurk. And I guess they have Shapestone also. So the good news is this is most of their cards. We know that they have two Lurkers left. Well, like this is a common Lurker and this is, you know, something they put back on top. This was like a Lurker follower that they created. Okay. The Lurker they put back on top was called the pack. So these are both Lurker followers. Only lurk once around. I hope I can go to seven. I like the flash freeze quite a bit. Because they got big lurker. We can flash. Yeah, I like that thing. We can flash freeze it. That was a good flash freeze draw. And now get into him. Think of how good Avalanche would have been right here. This Blighted Ravine has been really annoying. Avalanche, we have this easy. Now we gotta kill our Lissandra. Alright, we won. Because now, of course, their top card is that one mana 2 2. We'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, they just. They can't stop Leviathan. All right, two and three. Their death serves greater purpose. Incisive Tactician didn't look too great because uh, you know, like we weren't really, we didn't, we weren't playing like longer games, like where we got to like the point of like having multiple things on in play, and you know, like we just weren't really War Mother's Calling or anything like that. So, the Incisive Tactician could have been something else that you know maybe could have helped us stay alive and get to the later game. Because it looks like having Leviathan, Atticon, and a copy of She Who Wanders is probably enough top end, especially with, you know, like War Mothers putting those into play. So maybe just the Incisive Tacticians, you know, get a little bit more early defense with, you know, whatever plays some good early defense, probably House Spider. You know, like that could just be another thing that like makes your opponent overcommit into your Avalanches and, and Blighted Ravines, uh, perhaps. Obviously, you can get like the whole sentry flock combo in here if you want to try to fit that kind of stuff in here, or calling strike, death hand, all, all those kind of cards. There's a lot of cards you can play, but uh, I, I kind of felt like we need some more blockers in some of those matchups, and just having some house spiders would have been pretty nice for some more blockers. Or uh, could also just go like another sentry, another tavern keeper, right? Like, tavern keeper is an awesome card. I cut, I forgot we had tavern keeper in the deck. I don't think out of all five games, I don't think we drew a single tavern keeper. I don't think. And so, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Just get another Sentry, get another Tavern Keeper. I think that that could definitely be the thing to do. And then, uh, you know, that does make your War Mother's Call a little worse, right? Because you got two other low-cost units that War Mother's Call would put into play. 
but I think that's par probably fine if you're getting to War Mother's Call. You could probably be um, be just fine. And and yeah, Sensual says Tavern Keeper kind of boring, but an MVP. And yeah, that that would have helped out quite a bit in some of those games. So yeah, there we go. Let's just kind of the incisive. I think you know Atacon Leviathan. That's good enough top end. Probably you know the incisive tactician was a little overkill. Take those out. Put in another Sentry. Put another Tavern Keeper in and uh, go ahead and um, have those help you win some games. So, um, All right, that's going to be it here, though, for Atacon's call. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck or anything else you would change about it to maximize Atacon and War Mother's Call. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.